guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 151,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. But what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing another scary story. Now this scary story is actually called The Sickle. And the sickle is a terrifying and gruesome story about a murder that happens in a locked room and a mystery that remains unsolved. <gasps> That's it guys, we're getting into the unsolved mysteries territory. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's jump right over to the story. The Sickle. A married couple lived in a small house in Japan with their son and daughter. The son was very angry with his sister and wanted to play a really nasty prank on her. He decided that he would secretly videotape her on the toilet and then post the video online. He wanted to humiliate his sister in front of her friends. The boy hid a video camera under a towel in the bathroom. Minutes later, his sister went to the bathroom and locked the door behind her. She never came out again. Her mother started to wonder what was taking her daughter so long. She banged on the bathroom door and called out the girl's names but got no reply. Worried, she told her husband and eventually they managed to force the door open. What they found inside the bathroom filled them with horror. Their daughter was lying in a pool of blood on the tiled floor. She had been stabbed to death. Her face was so sliced up that she was unrecognizable and her tongue had been cut off. There was a bloody sickle lying on the floor beside her. The police were called immediately and they came over to investigate the scene. Inspecting the bathroom, they found that it posed a mystery. The door had been locked from the inside, the window was securely latched, and the bathroom was so small that nobody could have been hiding in there, lying in wait for the girl. So how was she murdered? The police saw that the only possible entrance was a small vent in the wall that measured only 10 inches by 10 inches. Nobody could have fit through such a small space. The police were absolutely stumped. They could not figure out how anyone would have gotten inside to kill the girl. The police carefully dusted the sickle for more fingerprints, but unfortunately, they found none. At this point, they felt that the case would never be solved. They questioned the mother and father, but when it came time to question the son, he was nowhere to be found. They searched the house and eventually found him curled up in a wardrobe. His eyes were wild, and he was sobbing uncontrollably. His hands were shaking violently. They noticed that he was holding a video camera. Unable to question him, the police decided to review the videotape. What they saw in the footage would terrify them for years to come. They pressed play on the video camera, and the screen showed the young girl sitting on the toilet. When she finished and stood up, the police noticed some movement in the small vent behind the toilet. A tiny figure emerged noiselessly from the vent. It was carrying a sickle. The policemen could hardly believe what they were seeing. The figure measured only six inches in height. It jumped onto the girl's back and before she had a chance to scream, it sliced open her throat with the sickle. Then it began stabbing the girl until she was dead. But the horror was not over. The tiny figure sliced up the girl's face and cut out her tongue. Afterwards, the figure approached the video camera. The figure's face was that of a gnarled and wrinkled old woman. It looked directly into the lens and hissed, You're next. Then, the tiny figure disappeared back through the small vent, carrying the girl's severed tongue. After watching the videotape, the police officers wiped tears from their eyes. 
Some vomited on the floor, and one even lost control of his faculties and pooped his pants out of sheer terror. Today, the case remains unsolved and the tiny woman has never been identified. The videotape still exists, but the police refuse to release it to the public. It sits in an evidence locker at the police station. The police call this case the Sickle Mystery and refuse to discuss it with the media. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I thought it was pretty good, but it could have been better. I mean, come on, let's face it. How silly was the ending? Like, I actually got really into this, and I was like, how is it? Who, what was it? What, who, who killed the girl? How did that happen? And then when it just turns out to be a little mini freaking fairy, <laughs> a little grandma fairy climbed out of the vent on the wall. <laughs> It just seemed too stupid for me. I'm sorry, but I couldn't take it seriously and policemen have seen a lot worse than a girl with her face sliced open So why would one literally dump in his fucking pants like? <laughs> one of the police officers just took his shit in his pants while he's standing there watching the videotape I just thought it was a little silly at the end. It started off really intriguing and interesting, but the end was fucking dumb I'm sorry <laughs> But regardless of that, it was a pretty good story and it made me laugh a little. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, please slap the like button down below. Let's see if we can go for 10 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And my question to all of you for question of the day is, what do you think this thing was? Do you think it was a fairy? <laughs> a fairy like me? Or was it a, a mini demon? Or was it just a very, very, very small little six inch person? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. That is question of the day. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams and i'll see you guys next time peace out and i love you bye <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more, you can go over to my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. And you can become a patron of mine over there. As you can see, we have different tiers and different rewards. So if you guys want to go check it out, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss any future uploads. And also guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description description i have facebook twitter instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing i love you guys and chase your dreams